Hello and welcome back to Wintermute. Now I'm looking at um, uh, the floor because of the blinky flashy lights that is here. So just a heads up so you know. And yeah, but welcome back to some more Wintermute. The narrative story of Long Dark. And... We most likely, uh, I'm crossing my fingers, touching wood, you know, you know, all of that, uh, that we don't have so much left because I extended the previous episode thinking that I could finish this off really quickly, but it turns out I have a bit more left to, to actually do. So here we are. Uh, I do apologize about the blinky and flashy lights. Can't really do anything about it. So, hopefully this makes it slightly better, having constant light. But, one thing that I need to do is find a bunch of fuses. A bunch of the fuse boxes has burnt out fuses, so I need to replace them so that I, that I can use... Will come in handy. Yep, replacement fuse. That's what I need. So that I can use the thing that is going to make it possible for us to leave this mine. And that is an elevator or lift whatever you want to call it. Yep, bolt cutters, we are going to need that. Like this, has been here a while. this place is a bit of a maze. Do not step in the water, even if it looks like, oh, I can just very easily just go that way. No, nope, 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 nope. You cannot, you have to, you cannot step in the water if you do. You, um, well, basically get electrocuted and die really quickly. So don't step in the water. Make sure you walk on the plank. Uh, did I miss this? Did I actually just move past this or whatever? Lantern fuel, not a bad thing. More dead ends. Um, why actually? I think I've turned off all of the electricity. This way I can actually go through the water at this point. If you see the water shimmer, uh, you can't really walk in, in it, so... Yep, and shoving that in there, as you can see, the water is now shimmering, so we can't step in the water. There is one more up here we need to change. Yeah, and we can't go that way, which is why this is here most likely. Yeah, because what we want to get to is this.
and uh, yeah i don't think there is a lot left to do just make sure no nope. as you can see find a way to fix the elevator two out of three so we miss we're missing one we need to change out one more okay good thing that i actually checked yep that was good good that i checked that because i was thinking that i had done everything but i really haven't i miss i wonder where it is though And it's not just that, I also need to actually find a replacement fuse. Like, that's the thing, I need to find a replacement fuse as well. So I need to find a fuse, and I need to find a burned out fuse where the... Where the new fuse needs to go. Mm, and this place is a bit of a maze, so I might be wondering... Oh, no. No, it, oh, right. It's right, right, right. I forgot. It's in here. I haven't been in here. This is why I needed the bolt cutters. Shall we? Take this out again. Yep. Here's this fuse. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. And then we need to find... Then we need to find where to... this replacement like which burnt out fuse and where is it to be honest I don't know this way see if we can find a place that needs this one fuse mm. like that's the thing I'm not sure which way to go and once we're in here, we can't actually see a map, so... Hmm. Is it over there? Might be, maybe. I can't walk in the water because otherwise it, the quickest way would be go straight up there, but can't do that. I will die if I try. Um, or get severely hurt, but um, electricity will uh, well, kill you really fast, like really quickly. Um, I think electricity in this game is one of the deadliest things by far. Oh, 
which makes sense, but... Also means you need to be extra careful when... Uh, when dealing with... Um, anything that has to do with like electricity and water especially like electricity and water combined that can be really bad uh. hmm. now i've been thinking a bit i have seen some news about from the developer about that episode five of the story might be coming out some time this year when exactly that is that's i don't even think the developers know so there's no point in guessing um but it does mean I might want to let's search that has one okay hmm. uh, it might mean that I don't want to wait too much to finish uh, playing episode 4 uh, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to pile on and continue or if I'm going to slot in something else. Oh, here it is. Um, yep, here it is. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do if I'm going to basically continue episode four directly after or if i'm going to play something else like or like a week or two or something i'm not sure we are going to have to decide but for now we should last one assuming they work put the fuse in and now that means this Should be working. It's blinking. It's awful. It's annoying. It's what it is. But the lights are on. So it should theoretically <laughs> have power and work. So let's uh let's go in and see if we fall to our death. Cutscene time. Or just a loading screen time, whatever. Let's do this. Continue. Now, this whole thing is basically uni a, a unique map for the story. So this is, if you want to experience something like this, you have to play the Wintermute story. And uh, yeah. But I would say it's worth it. Oh, sorry. Um, I would say it's worth uh, Like, if you have um, just a long dark 
uh, free play and don't have like the story pack it, it's well worth well worth it uh, i would buy the i would buy the complete <sighs> the dlc and everything a way out finally it's um not cheap but what you get for the money is um let's say that um it's what AAA companies I'll take it say that they give you but this gives you that and a bit more oh I haven't I don't think I ever played a AAA title uh, in ages because this much they are way too expensive the game is usually just bad and uh yeah i can can pay like a fraction of what the triple a title is and get like 200 percent more game out of my game <laughs> Anyway, we have reached the end of the tunnel. I like this, like this detail is actually really nice. You wouldn't actually need to do this. You could have just have had a door, but yeah. It's very obvious that it's basically just a picture, but still, it does make it look like that's outside and this is inside. Doesn't make it look like a obvious loading. What the hell? Oh. The world is changing. It has changed. The aurora, the weather, the wildlife. It somehow feels like Mother Nature is crying out. Or maybe she's warning us of what's to come. People like Molly or Father Tom or the crash survivors. They're just the ones left behind. Damaged people. The hopeful and the hopeless. What will this new world do to them? Will it make them harder? Will it break them? I'm not sure I can help them. And I don't know what I'll find when I get to where I'm going. What I do know is this. Mackenzie is alive, and he's heading to Perseverance Mills. And that means I have to get there before it's too late. I may not be able to stop this darkness from coming, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let it happen without a fight. skip that and we could just continue to episode four but that's not how I'm, how I'm going to do it because I'm going to end this episode it was a bit shorter I should have um, once I got into the mine I should have technically speaking ended that the, the previous episode and then started a new one and I would have had like probably two that was similarly length similar length but um, here we are 
uh, judging the past is um, an exact exact science, so to speak. Uh, hindsight is everything, as you say. And uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope that it makes some sense why the last episode is just 20 minutes and the <laughs> the one before is like an hour anyway my mistake I should have done that better I should have cut that up and uh, done it in two but I'm going to leave it as is because yeah and the next episode is episode four fourth chapter of the story now chapter five which i think is what the developers has said is the final chapter of the story like the final episode of the story and exactly when that comes out who knows um there has been like some vague information that we might see it this year like really on that level of like we might um but we also might not it might be next year but um I do think there is a good chance that we will see the last chapter, episode, act, whatever you want to call it, the next part of the story, so to speak. Um, I think we might see it this year, but I think we might see it in the like, third or fourth, fourth quarter of the year. So basically the other half of the year whether it's uh, q3 or q4 who knows we'll see exactly when the last part of the story for long dark comes out and if it's this year or next year we'll see and before that comes out i will try and make sure that i play the fourth one which is as far as they have come so far with the story so the next part is uh, episode four or as i say act four would have been a book it would have been called chapter but you know and So I'm not sure how I'm going to do if I'm going to take like two recording sessions with something else and what that something else is going to be in between. I don't know, but I'm not going to ramble too, too much because I mean, I know myself, I can just sit here and talk literal garbage for forever so i'm not going to do that but just so you know i'm not sure how i'm if i'm going to continue chapter four immediately or if i'm going to sprinkle something else in between you'll see <laughs> future will tell so to speak um it also comes down to sort of how much time i have because i have work i need to do uh and uh, stuff like that so we will see exactly how it's going to be in the future and the future is going to have to tell not just you but also me because i don't really know now how i'm going to do so future will we will see in the future and future will tell what the future holds um and yeah with that you know, the usual call to action stuff that 
everyone uh, needs to do, basically, as a content creator on YouTube, is, uh, you know, like, clicking that li uh, like button, and, uh, I mean, you could click the dislike as well, but... Uh, doesn't really do much anyway like dislike whatever you want subscribe if you feel that if i'm worth it and if you have anything to say i mean leave a comment i always read the comments even if i don't necessarily feel like i have a response i always read them and i think with that i just will just finish off by saying you do you you decide what you want to do with all of the things that i mentioned and with that we will round this uh, thing off and see where we uh, do in the future i'm having a brain fart sorry uh so with that thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one